Hi there, I'm Potmals and welcome to a new video. We are playing Hearts of Iron 4, the Road to 56 mod as Argentina. And well, let's load up the game, see where we left off last time, and continue with our conquests. Well, at least that's what we're hoping. I hope we can do some conquests, but perhaps at some point we'll be conquested, but we'll see. Conquered, I think you have to say. So. There's a little pocket of the United States, we have to take a few islands here. And of course we are busy against Mexico, so well, let's continue. And let's see what we can do. We should delete that order. Send them all here. Because we need to take that island. Not sure if there's any troops there, but... We'll see. Ooh. Looks like we have a minor problem with convoys from Spain. And we have a major problem getting enough iron. Where does that come from? I thought we had quite a bit, but apparently not. Interesting. So, what we're gonna do... We're gonna keep a few troops here. Alongside the coastline. For defensive purposes. So let's set them up something like that. These troops can go here. Not too close because then they'll take all the supplies and we won't be able to supply all these guys. But they will go there. Ooh, what happened here? Looks like we had a small loss here. Guess that wasn't supposed to happen. So, can we actually raid a bit? Have vectorage to spare? Should we get it from? Now we can try and get some from Japan, some from Spain again. Increase your input from Slav from Soviet Union. Yeah, now we are starting to build a few ships again, which is nice. So this is a bit of a waste. Let's remove those. Artillery update, that's nice. That's a bit too far ahead of time, so not gonna do that. Is there something we can do here? It's 1943. They're all ahead of time, so that's not gonna work. In case we want to build tanks at some point, that'll ensure we can. Now this is interesting, he moved in a lot of troops here. All out of supplies, which is interesting. Well, I guess at some point we need to be hoping for a breakthrough. Just not sure if we can manage that. Especially at this point. How are we doing? Well... Enemy has a lot more planes. Which is kind of obvious. But still... I want to do something about that. Oh, he's attacking me here as well. Oh, smart. These guys are going here. Then they should start attacking. These guys shoot already. As they did. They relieved these forces, which is good. Should really keep on the offensive. Well, of course it would be nice if we could do a few naval invasions, but I think... That's way too 
tricky, so that's not going to work. At least that's what I think. Alright, let's hold. What are the losses like? Well, that's a lot of losses. Oh, he lost a few more, so that's good, but... Won't be able to hold out till the end of time, so at some point we need to do something, and we need to keep checking these areas for any naval invasions, because you get an alert sometimes, but most of the time I find that alert rather annoying, and you get a lot of alerts and mostly nothing happens, it's just sometimes that stuff happens. Well. This is not really working. Oh, the American guy is destroying my convoys. Should we switch to a new manpower law? I think so. Use the extra manpower. Just to make sure we won't get into any problems. Now it appears six divisions are pulling out there. I guess we'll just have to push through at some point and then hope we can be able to continue, but for now, oh well, he appears to be running out of manpower, which is actually interesting. If he does, oh, but he's only on limited conscription. He can change his law if he wants to. But that could be interesting. If he runs out, that could really be helpful. Now, these guys need to get, need to get in. And defend against the American guy, of course. Now the American is pulling in troops, which is a problem. Because I don't... I'm not able to fight both. I really can't defend against the American. And... Alright, let's do this. Get some extra infrastructure, so supplies will be insured. need that American guy to go away, then we'll have a fighting chance. Right now we don't have a fighting chance. Well, let's do that one. Oh, he's pulling out divisions, it seems. Should really hope that Japan is doing a good job, so Japan can attack America, but I believe that's just wishful thinking. Where should we go? Sure. New officer program. Oh, that's all very interesting, but we don't need that. Infantry weapons. That's a good one. We need infantry weapons anyway, so let's try and get the best. This is forest, and that's also forest, so... Not much to gain there. Well dug in. Which is a problem. Well, combat with 120, so we do get plenty of divisions that can go on the offensive, but... It just won't be enough. Perhaps we can do this. Will that be sufficient? No. Enemy is air superiority, but it's only a 10% bonus. But he has big bonuses from the terrain. So that's a problem. 
Well, we caught a break last time when a lot of troops were removed because he's doing a good job on other fronts, as you can see here. United States doing a good job here. Oh, Soviet Union is doing something back. By the way, if you hear a lot of noise, that's probably my bird. It's flying around here and demanding some attention. Not going to give it, but it's demanding it. Oh, Soviet Union is finally fighting back a bit. So that's a good thing. Japan's doing okay. So that's good for us. That could mean at some point the American will withdraw forces to ensure his position on other places where war is being fought. So that could be a good thing, actually. But right now, everything came to a standstill and doesn't appear to go a different way soon. So what we could do could try and set up a small naval invasion. Not sure if it would work to do it at a port city and we need naval supremacy, but this is just one sea zone. So what we can do take a look at our fleet, it's right here. It's a commander of Let's give him that one. Let's get our fleet in here. Just need a brief period of naval supremacy for the invasion to kick in. If we can achieve that, that'll be splendid. So let's try that. Because if they land here, and I can ship the rest of my army there as well... Quite interesting. Not going to risk doing something like that here. Oh, we have a naval invasion here. Alright, so this guy should just go there. So he's probably going to land here, take these ports, which is rather smart, actually. did wish you would have landed there because that gives you the opportunity to destroy those forces. Now you'll just get away because the landing was unsuccessful. So that's a small thing, but it's interesting to see. He's trying the same thing, as you can see. He just tries to get behind my troops. Then surround me. So that's interesting. Keep an eye out for that. But for now we just need to hope we can do better. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Let's take a few, put them there. Take these guys, put them in here. So we have this port surrounded, because as you could see, he was trying again. So if he comes in again, we can just destroy him immediately. But he, when he lands, I believe he'll lose the division. That's the whole idea. So I have to make sure he lands there and then destroy his division. I'm not going to train any more troops. We have enough for now. So I'm curious, let's see, let's hope he comes in again. They'll just go around there. And they already pack a punch again. Not really. Number is green, but it's not telling the whole story. But it's going up now for the first time. Which is actually good. So let's see if we can continue that. This takes 50 days. Fleet is ready. 
should be able to get a small idea of the situation right here. There don't appear to be any fleets. So if we get in there, we just need a brief period. And we should be able to get our troops across. Really hoping we can. Alright, number is rising very slowly. Oh, there we go. Yep. Was okay for a while, but need to keep the pressure on. Still a shortage in artillery, but that's about it. Plenty of these. Really need to be building artillery at the moment. We have enough motorized. So let's skip a few motorized and put those into artillery. Let's put those guys in a port as well because we need those troops to go here and swarm out. I guess what we could do delete that and set these guys up to defend the coast here. That could work. Let's do it like that. And get all these guys into the port here so that they can immediately go after them if we get in. Alright, this is not good. Let's hold. Now we'll send everyone in, but now the good divisions are on the attack. Or at least they should be. Well, but with a 40, we should put extra divisions. Come in. Come on. It's all looking interesting, but not exactly the way I want it to go. It's going slow, slow, slow. But at least we're trying. Which is something. Convoys there, but that's not too much of a problem at the moment. This is almost done. So then it's just a big gamble. We're going to try and get across and see what happened. I'm curious to see what happens, so... Well, he has divisions pulling out. That's good, his number is still green, which means we should be doing okay. Although, I really wish we'd be going better. Iceland joined the Allies. That's not in my interest. Alright, so this is done, so let's activate and set these in here. The means, what was that? Recovery rate, that's good. Supply consumption, breakthrough with organization, research speed. This gives and reinforce rate. I like a reinforce rate and also research speed. So we're gonna go with this one. Alright, let's see. Can we get the naval supremacy we need? Yes. Keep my fleet in place for a little while. There they go. Perfect. Still don't appear to be enemy ships. That's interesting. We have friendly supremacy. We also got in. This is a level 3 port. Alright. A lot of troops in now. That's basically not to my benefit. Why is Japan losing a lot of his steel? French did a good job here. 
there at war with Japan. Well, Japan's probably building a lot of stuff himself. That's not too good. Come on, get in. Yeah, he's pulling in extra troops now. Good numbers climbing. Well, we'll have to wait and see, but... One division going out, three divisions going out. Has to climb a bit faster for me, personally. Because I really want to get in there. Come on. Go, go, go. Of course, I don't have marines. That makes a bit of a difference. And it's not that I would have already gotten in if I had marines. Normally, I would do an attack on three different states so you can surround the port and then attack it. It's always a bit of a gamble, but gives you much better odds. For now, this is just it. And we'll have to wait and see. Whoa! Now, that is a big army. Get there, guys. To defend. There he is. Well, that's not what I want. Let's hold for a while. Keep the province. Oh, he pulled out. Interesting. Now, these guys, especially these far away, should hurry up because I want them all there. They really need to be in there. On the offensive. Trying to take more land, that's okay. There are quite a few ports here, so... It'll be tough to drive him back into the sea. This is interesting, that's what we want to see. Perfect, now these guys go across. Now let's do some manual attacking. What happens if I do it like this? Well, let's see if we can widen the area a bit. They should get in as soon as they can. Hold. So this is interesting. We actually got in, so now these need to get there and then we can go on to the offensive, or at least try. I hope I did a good move and won't have my troops annihilated, but well, the only way to find out is doing what we are doing. Going on the offensive and see what's happening. Let's continue. They are getting in, which is really good. Try and keep attacking. Oh. Let's set up an attack line. Let's go. Spread out. Let's see what we can do. A lot of troops here. It would be great if we could destroy them all. Not sure at this point whether we can or not. These 
troops need to spread out and regain a bit of organization, then they can start attacking. Alright, this makes it interesting. Keep an eye on these areas for naval invasions. So I will. But at least there's some movement now. And we might actually be getting somewhere. So let's continue this. Alright, can we do something here? Perfect. Let's make them go onto the offensive. This is interesting. He has no port in this province, so all we have to do is take this one back. And he's out of ports, and we can destroy all those divisions. I like it. This is a tough battle. So these guys just need to hold out a second. Pick my fights. Ooh, better equipment. Another one for infantry weaponry, which is nice. In 11 days our tank comes in, then we can see if we can actually get better equipment. Now let's focus on destroying him here. Let's see if we zoom in. No, he's not pulling out troops, which is good. To keep the pressure on. Still didn't take this province, so we have to take that province. He's trying to get away, not going to do that. Get in there. Destroy him. Interesting, they are on the move. This actually helps towards sur the surrender of Mexico. How many divisions does he have? Between 41 and 49. So I think there's a lot of support divisions there from other nations. Stop attacking and regain some organization because this is not good. Why is there so much attrition? Ah, that's not too much. But we need to stay strong enough. She had a lot of divisions. He has a lot of divisions, so. Spread out a bit. But there's one problem I need to keep troops here. Because I would love to get this army there as well. Don't think that's the best move right now. Well, we'll see. Right now they're regaining. Which is good. Switching all the troops around, which is okay just really strong. That's one of the problems. I think I need to work on this port facility because it can't facilitate all the troops that are there. So I needed to get better. But now we can check for new equipment because that should have a bonus. Yes, that's nice. Alright, so well we made some progress actually. So I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. That will help me in the YouTube algorithm. So other people can better find my videos as well. And I get some exposure. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me your ideas. What you thought about it. Anything like that. 
And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.